Hello again everyone, this is Jim here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's a wonderful day, going to be a wonderful, warm, very summery day for Chicago. And I think we're going to have something like 80 plus degrees so and a good deal of sunshine. So yeah, it looks like summer's finally here. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, check in today with a, a little video with some, some thoughts and maybe some motivation. Uh, and just just uh, like my general sort of an update. <laughs> um, you know, I, I've been just kind of doing the same, motoring along. Um, you know, with the, the whole working from home thing. Um, working from home, exercising from home, and uh, you know, from a, from a personal standpoint, uh, it's, it's all going well uh, for me. Uh, kind of in a groove with my diet. Uh, I, I, I like where I'm at uh, with the changes I described recently. I just kind of uh, added a few things. Uh, I added the fish and eggs to my diet and, uh, you know, scaled back on the meat a little bit. And I also added the, uh, the uh, berries and, and, uh, and yogurt. To the diet and I still maintain that uh, and I like it I mean that, that's working for me um, and uh, the the exercise is working for me too um, I've been steadily kind of ramping up uh, my exercise regimen that I do um, and it, it's a combination. I, I still do some running, but uh, I de-emphasize the running a lot. Uh, running is just part of it, but I, every day I'm doing some kind of indoor workout. Uh, I, I have like a, a heavy workout and then a, a lighter workout and I alternate with it. And <clears throat> uh, I have to say that's going well. I mean, I, I feel the results. I mean, I, 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 can, I, I can feel uh, strength and, and, and I can see the progress I've made quite readily. Um, it's funny though, the, uh, <laughs> my body composition scale, if I believe those numbers, it tells me I'm going the wrong way in terms of, it, it tells me that uh, my fat mass is increasing and my lean mass is decreasing. And, uh, and now I did, I did gain some weight. Uh, I think over the past month, I'm kind of, I drifted up maybe like five pounds. Uh, but I can see, I mean, the, the weight has went up, but what my eyes tell me when I look in the mirror and, uh, and what my waist tells me, my, my, my waist didn't increase. Uh, in fact, it seems like my waist has decreased uh, the last time I measured. I, I got a little smaller reading and, and you know, my, my pants are still fitting, you know, even looser, you know, or just the same. So that, those body composition scales, I was never quite sure what to make of it. Uh, if I really believe that I might be discouraged, but I don't because the physical evidence tells me otherwise. It tells me uh, that I am uh, making progress. So I'll go by that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> things are going well. Uh, I'm enjoying the sunshine. Uh, working from home does give me uh, good access to sunshine. Uh, I can sneak out and get 15 minutes to an hour uh, pretty much any day that it's available. And I really appreciate that. Uh, normally, uh, let's say working in the office, it's pretty much just I got to get my sunshine on the weekend and hope that it's sunny. But often it doesn't work out like that. So, uh, yeah, so I can't complain uh, about uh, where I'm at right now. Um, I thought I would just, what I've been thinking, what I wanted to, to go over today, in, and this is somewhat repetitive, I've talked about these things before, uh, but I was asking myself, if, if someone asked me a question and said, uh, what were the, what are the, the most important 
things that I've done uh, to maintain my, uh, my, uh, my new weight, you know, after the weight loss part of it. What have I done in maintenance mode uh, that has made the biggest difference? Because I, I don't know, I feel like I feel like I've been doing well with the maintenance. I'm well into my third year, uh, and and I just have to say I've been pretty successful at it. And I know it's not always the case for everyone. You know, there's it can be a little bit rocky. You can have some ups and downs. Uh, you know, at least that's what I hear from people. And so I just thought, you know, what can I share? What is it I'm doing? that's making a difference. So, so I came up with uh, two things. And if viewers of my channel can probably guess what they are, uh, it's, it's, it's not a huge secret. I, I've talked about it before, but uh, maybe new people uh, are, are gonna hear it for the first time. But I, I came up with two things that are most important in my mind for, for uh, my, success and maintenance. Um, first of all, let me say, you know, when, when, when I was in a weight loss mode, and, and that was, that was what, about 13 months, 15 months, let's say a year and a half. It was roughly until I got to the, to the place I'm at now. It was about a year and a half total until I was kind of happy with my weight. Um, you know, during that time, it was all about chasing a number. You know, I, I was, I was pursuing the number on the scale. That was pretty much my, uh, my goal, my motivation to get that number down. And I, I know that worked. Uh, that isn't necessarily how everyone does it. You know, they might have another approach, but yeah, I really wanted that number down and I was coming from such a high number. Uh, <laughs> I was really motivated to change that number. So, And, and during that time when I was in weight loss, the things at that time that made me successful, I believe were just the fact that I, I stuck to the plan. Uh, I was consistent. Uh, I, I, I didn't do cheat days. I, uh, you know, I, I made incremental sustainable changes. And I've talked about this before. So I made changes that I could adhere to and then I didn't, I didn't fool with it. Whatever was working, I just stayed with it and I didn't cheat and I stayed focused on it. So I had some discipline, I stayed focused, I didn't play around and I, I think that was the key to, that uh, got me uh, to, the, to, the, to the goal on the scale. Um, so you know, then when I reach the goal, it's then what do you do? And uh, so this is where, where maintenance enters into it. And I'd say the first thing, the, the most important thing that I did in terms of having a successful maintenance was that I maintained a goal. I, I never fully, I, I maintained the mindset that I'm on a journey, on, on a journey, it's just a different journey, a different goal, a different destination. I, I never, I never let up. Um, you know, I didn't look at it like, um, like, okay, I, I got where I needed to be. Now I can just totally do whatever I want or go back to my old ways or, or you know, I just, I felt like I had, it had served me so well to have this goal in front of me that I was pursuing, I was pursuing, pursuing. So I just felt that I need a different goal. I, I don't want to stop the pursuit. I want to keep moving forward, even though I'm the maintenance side. So I, I had to come up with, well, what, what do I pursue now? What, I, if I'm not pursuing a number on the scale, uh, what, are, what are my goals? What am I sh uh, chasing? Um, so that's, that's the first one. That's the most important thing is to, and I've developed this mindset now, it, the journey doesn't end. 
no one's journey ends. Uh, it, so it's just, it evolves a little bit. So my journey evolved and once I, the, the, the number goal on the scale was, was met. Uh, for me, the next thing was, okay, the goal was to maintain it. I mean, number one, that was part of my journey is to always, uh, to, to maintain the weight, the weight loss. Um, but I made the next, the next target for me was, uh, it was running, running goals. Uh, and I spent, oh, I don't know, the better part of two years working on that. Uh, I wanted to run longer and faster. You know, I was challenging myself to, uh, with the running. And uh, somewhere around last year, in the middle of last year, last summer, uh, that kind of, I, I kind of got tired of that goal. And I, I realized it's not really me. It wasn't really satisfying anymore it, it uh i needed something else it just i got tired of the running as a goal i wasn't ever going to be going to make huge improvements in in that aspect and it, it wasn't satisfying so i had migrated now first so the first target was to be a better runner uh now uh now i've changed it to be better fitness, better overall fitness. And that that is working for me, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, that is much more satisfying, it's much more tangible. I can see the results and I, I think it's more meaningful. Uh, my fitness goals are, are to add strength, uh, mobility, flexibility, agility, balance, you know, to be a more overall uh, improved uh, physical health and be the be the best version uh, of, of myself that I can be uh, physically and mentally even so my, my journey yeah I still do running I mean I, running is still a part of it but it's uh, it's a much more casual uh, I, I sometimes yeah I'll take like one day off um, I run like three times a week and one of them is just a just a jog, uh, and two of them I, I work in in some some sprints in, into the running. So it, it's part of the overall equation, but it's it's just getting outdoor. I like being outside. I like the fast movement. Uh, I, I like running, uh, you know, when it's warm out. But it, it's. It's only, let's say, like 25% of the equation right now. Uh, um, but, but just on the subject of, of having goals or being on a journey, I've kind of expanded that definition. I mean, uh, I do look at it like a journey, but, it, and it's, but it's more than just physical goals, uh, maintaining weight and, and being uh, and, and reaching uh, better fitness, uh, the best fitness that I'm capable of at this point in time. It's beyond that even. I mean, I personal aspects of my life, uh, you know, uh, I even got things, you know, I'm going to say like financial goals or future goals for, for maybe, you know, big moves, you know, maybe moving or relocating or, or job goals or, uh, uh, you know, having better relationship with family or friends, uh, building better relationships, you know, that, that is a goal. So on a personal side, I've got other, other aspects to my journey that I, that I work on all the time to try to be, you know, to try to be a better, more well-rounded person, you know, a happy person, to have a happy life. Because ultimately it has to be something like that. It's, no one's just happy because of their weight, right? I mean, that's that's one part of it. But to to be happy in life and to and to have fun with life, uh, and to be productive and to be useful, uh, to to share things with people. Th these are these are what matter most. So, um, so yeah, I have those goals too, uh, and, and I work on kind of being a better overall person, but. 
I just want to say that uh, mainly having having the concept in mind of being on a journey is is one of the things I think is important. You're on a journey and so you need to maintain discipline. You need to keep moving forward towards your goals. And and in some ways you can measure them. You know, you, you can measure from the physical side or or you can measure if you're maintaining the weight. Uh, some of it is harder to measure. Uh, you know, like I said, some of the uh, personal goals are maybe a little bit intangible, but you can feel it nonetheless. So uh, keep moving forward, stay on a journey. You know, this is, I guess, um, one of the big aspects of, of maintenance that I, I find keeps me focused and, and helps me be successful. The second big thing that I think has helped me to be successful is uh, fasting and maintaining fasting in my lifestyle. Uh, that might be applicable more to me than other people, uh, but I'll, I'll just say for me, I think it's it's been very important. And here's why. I, I think during this whole process of, of weight loss and, and being on my journey and learning about myself and my relationship with food, <laughs> uh, I've come to realize that at first I didn't believe this. You know, when people talk about food addictions or, 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 uh, yeah, that the, the food is addictive. I, I never really kind of understood that or agreed with it, but I've, for a long time now, come to the uh, realization that I do have some problem with food uh, and always have had all my life, and that's probably why uh, my weight, uh, you know, crept up uh, as an adult year after year after year, because I don't know what you want to call it. If it's, I'm sure to some extent it's eating the wrong food and being addicted to the wrong foods. Uh, but there's something more to it. There's something about, um, I don't know if it's emotional or, or in my psyche or whatever, but I, I always seems like I sought more and more food. Like, like it, I had a creep, like wh wherever I was at in time, it would just escalate. Like, and it's, it was unconscious, unconsciously happening, but, and, and some people don't have this. I'm sure some people just can kind of have a homeostasis where they're eating the same amount and, and they're not drifting. But I always use the term drift or creep because if left to my own devices, I can, I can look at things like say, after a number of months, and it seems like I'm doing the same thing. But when I really drill down, if I actually took the time to measure the food or, or to, to really pay attention to what I was eating, it had drifted, it, it drifts higher. And it, it, it happens slowly so you don't notice it. And I think part of it is just because I like to eat. Uh, I still do. I mean, my, my, my gosh, uh, you know, I eat one meal a day but that meal, that meal is the highlight of my day, and it, it's so exciting, and I, I, I kind of, uh, I look forward to it, and I aggressively go after <laughs> the food, and I eat, and, and I'm happy when I eat. I really enjoy eating, right? It's, it's, it's something I enjoy. Uh, but that whatever it is in, in my psyche or whatever, it, it causes me to want more and more and more. Uh, and it's subtle. So fasting, where does that come into it? Um, you know, fasting was key in my weight loss journey. That was the thing that started uh, uh, unlocking uh, unlocking the, uh, the doorway to, to, to weight loss for me when I started fasting, when I started eating less often. And I realized that I never wanted to fully get away from that. Um, and fasting for me, right now I'm doing it like uh, I'm working in, 
I've done as many as few as one day per month, but sometimes I did three days per month. I'm still kind of doing that. I I call it a reset, and whatever drifting I might have done during the month, fasting resets everything. I go back to square one, and I learn. Or it's not like I learn, but I just get reset to the point where. I appreciate food again. I don't need as much food. Like I'm happy just to have any amount of food. It, um, it, it just feels really good to do fasting and I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, I think I need it. I think it keeps me balanced. It keeps me, it keeps my body in balance in terms of its uh, desire for food and, and and a big thing for me on fasting, I think, I think it allows your body to to, to do the things it's supposed to do, uh, and that is to heal. Uh, I, I believe the the fasting is, I believe our bodies are the, are the the best medicine and the best healing uh, that you can do can be done by your own body, and uh, so. But you have to stop eating to really be effective at it. And when you do that, there's a chance for, uh, you know, the cell repair and and, uh, and and your body starts getting rid of, you know, d damaged cells and, uh, uh, and healing. And I think that's good. One analogy that I use for fasting is to... Consider your body like a machine. Um, and let's say you've got this some machine on your, on your factory floor, and that machine runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, never stops. Right? If what's going to happen? That machine occasionally needs to be shut down for maintenance preventative maintenance and uh, if you don't do that the machine will run itself into the ground uh, you know a, a part's gonna fail and you're gonna have a major breakdown uh, and you're gonna have to call in the service department and and uh, the repair could be uh, quite extensive uh, it's the same thing for your body and I look at fasting is like shutting down for repairs. When you shut down your digestive system, you, you save so much energy. Uh, I, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a, a large percentage of your, of your um, energy used by your body goes to the food digestion. And so it, it's, a major, it's a major thing. And it does, you know, it goes on. It goes on uh, for at least like 12 hours. Uh, that's why, you know, that's why the intermittent fasting helps because at least you're, the body's resting a little bit after 12 hours. If you eat like, in my case, like every 23 hours, there's a little bit of break every single day. But doing an, a little bit of a prolonged fast, an extended fast, gives the body extra opportunity to have a full shutdown and to really go into intensive repairs, you know. Uh, because, you know, our, our bodies wear out, you know, little niggling things happen, you know, uh, cells go, go bad and, um, and, and things need to heal. And in order for your body to devote enough resources uh, to do the healing, it needs to be shut down for an extended period of time. So that's the way I look at it, fasting. It's a healthy shutdown uh, and, and it's a way to keep your immune system humming, uh, to, to stay healthy. Look, it's, to me, it's the best thing you could do for your body because our bodies, they know how to, how to remove toxins, how to stay healthy. They know everything. Our bodies know everything they're supposed to be done to leave us healthy in a healthy state. But often we don't allow it to work. 
we don't allow our bodies to do the job. We overwhelm it with toxic foods and too much food too often and we don't give it a break. And after so long, the things start failing. So uh, that's, that's my fasting analogy. Shut the body down, let it repair. Rather than just continue with a steady barrage of food, you know, which I don't do. Um, I mean, some of my some of my control mechanisms, uh, other than fasting and and being on a journey, are built in. One meal a day kind of keeps me. That kind of keeps me focused and kind of limits how much I can drift having one meal a day. Heaven forbid if I were eating three meals a day and having snacks. Um, I would have so many more opportunities to drift uh, and, and it would be so much harder to control. With one meal a day, there's a lot of built-in control just just in, in having the one meal. So, uh, I, I, you know, I, I like that. Um, and having, <clears throat> having the fasting is another control mechanism. Having, having a few days uh, every month or so where you you fast and go without food and your body just kind of resets, um, that limits how far off uh, you, you can drift. And I, I think it, I think it keeps your body uh, tuned, I think is the word I want to say. It, it, otherwise your body can get lazy and get in a rut and, and it, it expects certain things every day. And I think, again, this is a little bit about the, the body signaling. Um, I'm trying to send a signal that it needs to expect uh, that sometimes there's gonna be no food. And I, I, think, I, I think it's a good thing to do. Anyway, for me, fasting is the other, um, other biggie that I think has helped me uh, maintain my weight loss. Uh, so, so the two biggest things, like I said, staying on a journey, having a goal in front of me uh, at all times, moving forward towards that goal, trying to be a better version of myself, and incorporating some amount of fasting in my lifestyle. I'm trying to emphasize fasting more because rather than just always talk about food because I think I have not, I've maybe not given it enough um, discussion or enough emphasis, um, but it really was important uh, to change me. And uh, my change has been so profound. I mean, uh, I am, <laughs> you know, I, well, I, I'm sure you've seen my pictures and uh, I literally I've become a different person and I do believe it wasn't just because I started eating different kinds of food. It, it was the fasting in the one meal a day and eating less often. My, my body changed. Uh, so uh, anyway, it, it all ties together. You know, there, there were a number of things that were part of the equation, but um, uh, fasting is one of them I, I try to emphasize more so anyway I, I hope uh, I hope this has been uh, interesting and uh, uh, maybe motivational or maybe give you something to think about obviously uh, it's not going to be the same for everyone uh, but I, m my channel I just come out here and try to honestly convey what I'm doing and what I have done and what works for me and and and, and maybe that'll resonate with, with, with people with someone or help someone and and from the feedback I get uh, you know it very often does so that's why I come out with these these videos so um, with that said I think I'll wrap up today um, yeah I gave a summary of how things are going and and uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to enjoy today. Like I said, it's going to be a summer day and I know there's going to be some sunshine involved and uh, 
I look forward to that always and uh, and yeah we just go on from here so um, I appreciate my audience I, I just want to always mention that um, I get such great comments uh, yeah and support I get a lot of good comments and, and I get a lot of encouraging comments every time I make a video I'm blown away by some of the things people say, some of the changes they've made, some of the improvements they're making, and uh, so uh, it kind of, uh, we feed off each other a little bit. So I hope everyone's doing well, and, and again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Goodbye now.